thank people as well. Two years ago, I went to the Bakers Union executive and said, look, the fast food rights campaign is breaking out right the way across the globe against road pay, the lack of respect for workers, zero hour contracts. And we needed a union that would spearhead this campaign. And the Bakers Union executive, to a person, all of them unanimously decided to launch the campaign. So I want to thank Ronnie Draper, the General Secretary, and Ian Hodgson, the President of Bakers Union, for what they've done. But also, I want to thank a few people who have worked you. This woman has worked herself into the ground over the last two years in launching this campaign, building it, working, recruiting, organising. And I just want to thank you for the work that you've done. We have, we have heroes and heroines who don't thank you enough. But I want to thank you all especially. You are absolute inspiration yeah, yeah. for what you've done today. Yes, this is the first McDonald's strike, but let's make it clear. No one wants to go on strike. No one likes going on strike. This was completely unnecessary if McDonald's, first of all, treated its staff with respect, recognised the union, paid a real living wage, and at the same time ended zero-hour contracts. Now, I don't think that's much to ask for with a company that's making billion pounds worth of profits every year, is it? No! So what we've said is that yes, we'll negotiate with McDonald's on those terms and we expect them now to recognise the union and get round the table. Now these strikes have occurred in right the way across and we have global days of action where the sun, set, the sun rises in Australia and New Zealand and work strikes take place and we're pushing the company back now country by country to recognize unions pay people properly and treat them decently and you know in america the campaign has been reached incredible proportions of success as well so in this country now the message from today to mcdonald's in particular is the campaign has started here in earnest this is just the start until they get around the table and negotiate but it isn't just McDonald's, is it? It's a large number of other companies in the fast food industry. And what you've said to them today as well, don't think their workers are going to be satisfied on low wages, zero hour contracts and treated without respect and without a union being recognised. This is the start of action, which I believe will bring all of those employers round the table to pay a decent wage and recognise trade unions. You are an absolute inspiration and I'm just so proud of you all. Thanks for what you're doing. Solidarity.